I hope you all are safe at home. I am Guleen Ma'am, your mathematics teacher from DPS Damachar. In our previous lecture, we have completed chapter number 7, Can You See the Pattern? Today we are going to start new chapter, chapter number 8, Mapping Your Way. So let's begin. So before starting the chapter, let me give you introduction about this chapter, Mapping Your Way. As the name says, map, this word you might have heard in SSC. But there we talk about India and world map. For those maps are in large scale. Here we are discussing about Google Maps. Which you all must have seen in your parents mobile phone Google Map. Whenever we are going somewhere and we want to search the location. So we press Google Map. It tells us which lane number we have to go. So here we are discussing about those maps. So now let us read together what is written in your maps NCRT book page number 112. Ashi is going to India gate to see the Republic Day Parade with the other children of her school. So students you all know where is India gate. India gate is in Delhi. As the children settle down they hear something about India gate on the loudspeaker. To the right of the president is the India Gate. This was built in memory of the Indian soldiers who died in the First World War. There are lots of people sitting on both sides of Rajpath, the main road along which the parade passes. Children are talking about the buildings they can see around them. So students, here in picture you can see India Gate. So there Children are settled down and they hear something about India Gate on the loudspeaker. So here you can see, he said, Look Aditi, this is India Gate. A boy said, Look Aditi, this is India Gate. Sir told us that Rashtrapati Bhavan faces India Gate. So that last building on your right side must be Rashtrapati Bhavan. So now students, open page number 113. Here is a photograph taken from a helicopter. You can see Rajpath, the road which joins India Gate to Rashtrapati Bhavan, Mark where on Rajpath will Aditi be. So in your book you can see that a photograph is being taken here from helicopter. So now let us see on the screen that will be more easy for you. So students, here you can see map 1 of this photo. So in map 1, there is Rashtrapati Bhavan. So same is there in photo, Rashtrapati Bhavan is here. Then you can see the first cut, it is Vijay Chok. Then the second cut is Rafi Marg. And the third cut is Janpat. Then fourth cut is Man Singh Road. And here you can see India Gate in the photo. In map, India Gate will be drawn here. Now let us see the questions. What are they saying? Have you seen a map of a city? Yes, I have seen a map of a city. Look at map 1. So they are saying, look at map 1. Match it with the photo and find out where India Gate is. Draw it on the map. So students, see on the photo, here is India Gate. Now we have to draw India Gate on map 1. So here you can see I have drawn India Gate on map 1. Next question. Name roads that you will cross on your way from Rashtrapati Bhavan to India Gate. So students, just see the areas from Rashtrapati Bhavan to India Gate. What all areas we have crossed? Rafi Mar, Janpat and Man Singh Road. Rafi Mar, Janpat and Man Singh Road. Next question. Look for the National Stadium in Map 1. Can you see it on the photo? Yes, I can see National Stadium in Map 1. But it cannot be seen on the photo. In photo students you can see that National Stadium we cannot see. Next topic, the Central Hexagon. This topic is in your book, page number 114. So now let's read together. If we zoom in to look more closely, 
At one part of the map, it looks like this. So here you can see map 2. Here they have done zoom in. Zoom in option you might have seen in your mobile phone. If you want to see something very closely, so we see from zoom in option. So that map they have done zoom and now it is looking like this. So now let us read. Look at the shape of the yellow area. Have you seen this shape before? How many sides does it have? Yes, we have seen this shape earlier. I told you in chapter number 2 about shapes which has 6 sides. It is called hexagon. So here you can see the shape. How many sides it has? 6 sides. This place is called the central hexagon. This place is called the central hexagon. Find out from the map. Number 1. If you are walking on Rajpath, then after India Gate, on which side would Children's Park be? So here you can see Rajput Lane and here it is India Gate. So if you are standing from India Gate, then where is Children's Park? Here. So which side it is? It is towards right side. Second question. Which of these roads make the biggest angle between them? A part, Mansing Road and Shahajan Road. So here in map 2 you can see it is Shahajan Road and here it is Mansing Road. And in middle you can see angle between them. B part, Ashoka Road and Man Singh Road. The angle away from India Gate. So here you can see Man Singh Road and here it is Ashoka Road. And this is the angle between them. C part, Janpath and Rajpath. So here you can see Janpath and here it is Rajpath. So now if you notice Man Singh Road and Shahajan Road. This angle is less than 90 degree. So it is acute angle. So it will be cross. So here you can see Janpath and Rajpath. Which angle is this? It is 90 degree. That is right angle. So now if you see Mansing Road and Ashoka. This is the biggest angle between them. So students which angle is this? It is more than 90 degree. It is obtuse angle. The correct answer is Ashoka Road and Mansing Road. So this makes the biggest angle between them. Now question number 3. Which of the above pairs of roads cut at right angles? So I told you students right now. Janpath and Rajpath. It makes a right angle that is 90 degree. Next topic. Waiting for the parade. This topic is there in your book page number 115. So here you can see map 3. While waiting for the parade, Kancha and some of his friends wonder where this parade ends. Kancha is carrying a newspaper in which the route of the parade is written. So here you can see Vijay Chowk. This is Rashtrapati Bhavan. Then Vijay Chowk. Then from Vijay Chowk to Rajpath. Then from Rajpath to India Gate. Then from India Gate to Tilak Mark. Then from Tilak Mark to B.S. Safar Mark. Then Subhash Mark. Till here it is Subhash Mark. Then here it is Red Fort. The star you can see, it is Red Fort. So the children look at this map to see the parade route. So students see here down scale is mentioned. 2 cm is equal to 1 kilometer and there are four directions mentioned north south east west so look this picture at page number 116 so now let us read what are they saying hey see that is india gate and that is rashtrapati bhavan and the long road between these is rajpath let's guess how many kilometers long rajpath is my mother told me it is 2 km from Vichichok to India Gate. On this map, it is about 4 cm. So, 4 cm on the map is the same as 2 km on the ground. You are right. See, it is written at the bottom of this map. Scale 2 cm is equal to 1 km. So, students, I have shown you on the map. On the bottom, it is written scale. 
2 centimeters equal to 1 kilometer. Now mark the route. Trace the route of the parade in map 3 and mark India Gate and Rajpath. So students, we have already marked earlier from India Gate to Rajpath. Now let us do question number 2 given. Look at the map carefully and find out A part which of these is the longest road. Number 1, BA Safar Mark. So students, here you can see BA Safar Mark I have marked with brown color. And you have to measure the distance with the help of scale. So it is around 3 cm. Then Subhash Mark. Here you can see Subhash Mark I have marked with red. And it is around 4 or 4.5 cm. Next, Tilaknagar. Here I have marked Tilaknagar with blue color. It is around 3.8 cm. So which of these is the longest road? Second option, Subhash Marg. Now B part. If Rupiah is coming from Jama Masjid to join the parade, guess about how far she have to walk. So students, here you can see Chama Masjid. So we know that the route of the parade from Subhash Mark and Chama Masjid is 1 cm from the Subhash Mark on the map. So in the map, it was given scale is 2 cm equal to 1 km. So students, if 2 cm is equal to 1 km, so 1 cm will be 1 upon 2 km. And we know that 1 km is equal to 1000 meter. So half kilometer will be 1000 meter divided by 2. It will be 500 meter. So Rupiah will have to walk about 500 meter to join the parade. C part, the total route of the parade is about how long? So students here, total distance of the parade in the map, you have to calculate with the help of scale. It is coming 16 centimeter. And we know that 2 centimeter on map is given 1 kilometer. So 1 centimeter will be 1 upon 2 kilometer. So 16 centimeter will be 16 divided by 2. It is coming 8 kilometer. So the total route of the parade will be about 8 kilometer. Students, that's all for today's class. I hope you all have understood Galeen Vam's class. So chapter number 8, part 1 completed from page number 112 to 116. Practice these questions at home. Learn about different directions. Now I'll continue in our next class. Take care. Bye-bye.